If you sold a few paintings, or a few friends or family members have commissioned pieces, you may be wondering what on earth you have to do to paint like that and sell work consistently. Even if selling isn't your main goal, a lot of painters want to work at a level where people would love to hang their art on their walls. And getting to that point is easier than you think if you've actually sold a couple of paintings before and are wondering what on earth you have to do to get there. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today precisely how to go from having sold a couple of pieces here and there, whether originals or commissions, and going from that all the way to consistently making the kind of work that people want to buy. Helping artists to break through this problem is something I do every day inside of my mentorship program, the Alla Prima Bootcamp. So as you watch this video through, if you know that you want start to finish guidance to make sure that you reach this goal, check out the link in the description to apply to see if we are a fit to work together. And if you'd like to find out more first, I'm gonna be hosting a free hour long masterclass walking through each step in the process that I describe in this video in depth. The masterclass is going to be on Monday, January 16th at 2 p.m. Eastern, that is 11 a.m. Pacific, and a replay will be available if you can't make that masterclass live. The link to register, whether you plan to be there live or you want to watch the replay, is in the description. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump into this. The first thing I want to break down is this. If your goal is to sell work consistently, you need to be working at a professional quality. And if you want to work at a professional quality, but selling isn't your main goal, the advice that I cover in this video and the process of going from where you are today all the way to reaching your goal is the same. This video is about how to create work that attracts buyers. And that is the primary issue I see in up and coming artists. It's easy to worry about the marketing, but if you aren't consistently making work that you or your potential collectors get excited about, that marketing doesn't matter. Your website doesn't matter. Your Instagram following doesn't matter. Your salesmanship doesn't matter. First and foremost, we have to get you making work that you are proud of because that is what yields easier sales. And even if selling isn't your goal, who doesn't wanna make work that they're proud of? So let's talk about the exact steps that you need to follow to remedy this situation and get where you want to be. First and foremost, any sales that you have made before, they count and they tell you that what you're making is viable. You do have the potential to take this to bigger and better places for yourself. So if you've sold a piece to a friend for $100, that counts. Did a family member commission you to paint one of their favorite photos? That counts. Most painters I know start out exactly this way. And what this says is that once people have a connection to who you are and what you value, your work is resonating with them. People don't spend $100 out of a sense of pity or obligation. They do it because there is something special there. And often that starts with family and friends who take the time to make that connection with you. And that helps them to realize that they love a painting that you've made. And if they love that painting, more people will love what you do. So the first step is to accept that it is a big deal if you've sold any pieces at all and trust that that means you are in the right place. You belong here watching Watching this video and you should proceed forward to the next step. So next up, we need to ask, are you creating work that's consistent? If what you're making isn't consistent, it makes sense that your sales aren't consistent either. So if one day you make a piece that you are just so excited by and proud of and that piece sells, and then the next five pieces just really fall flat, well, it makes sense that no one bought those other pieces. So we need to find a way to help you make sure that you're making work on a consistent basis, that you're consistently proud of. And that's what we're going to walk through in the upcoming steps. One other question that is essential to ask, this is a part of making work that is consistent. We need to ask, are you proud of that work? We don't want you making work that is consistently disappointing you. <laughs> Instead, we want you to be making work that is both a consistent quality and that quality is one that you are proud of. We need to get you to that stage in your artistic journey. So if you aren't making paintings that are consistent and that you're proud of yet, 
you need to get clear on what it looks like for you to be in that place. What kind of work would you like to consistently make? What kind of work would you be proud to consistently be making? Really pinning down what your goal is, is essential for us to be able to build out the rest of your journey in a way that's strategic, thoughtful, and personalized to you. Now, there's a lot of ways that you can get clear on this. This could be something you go through and do some journaling exercises about. This is something you can create a vision board around. Because there are a lot of different ways you can go about this, and because this is one of my favorite exercises, this is one of the things that I will be going in depth on in my free masterclass that's coming up. And this is also something that I walk my mentorship students through step by step. So if you're curious to know more about what this looks like, I would make sure that you register for that masterclass or go ahead and apply to see if we're a fit to work together. Once we know what that goal is, we then need to figure out what are the gaps between what you're able to create right now and what you want to be able to create. What kind of skills are involved in what you're able to do now versus the skills that are involved in making the work you would be genuinely proud of. Maybe it involves improving your ability to capture the likeness in a portrait or the anatomy of a figure or your control over color or how loose and expressive your brushwork can be without sacrificing realism. Whatever the skill gap might look like, we want to get really clear on exactly where you are now, where you want to be, and what the difference is between those two so that we can help you to bridge those skill gaps and get you to the point where you aren't held back by your skills from making the kind of work you want to make. Once we know where those skill gaps are, we need to figure out what exercises will help you to build up all of those skills that you need to build. It's no use getting into the studio and just practicing aimlessly, hoping that's gonna get your skills to where they need to go. Instead, we need a really targeted action plan to help you to build up each individual skill that's essential for the way that you want to work. And we need to know what exercises actually move the needle and get you there effectively. Once we have a sense of what those are, then we put in the work, or rather you put in the work. Unfortunately, I can't <laughs> get get your skills up there for you. Um, this is the time for you to be in the studio putting all of these exercises to work in order to build the skills that you need to build. After you've gone through all of these steps, it's important to go ahead and go back to the earlier step where we identify what the gaps are between what you're able to do currently and what you want to be able to do. Once you go back and do this reassessment, it's very possible that all of your skills are where they need to be, in which case we'll move on to the next step. But if you realize there are any remaining skill gaps, it's important to go ahead and repeat these past couple of steps just to make sure that you really do have all of your skills set up for success for you to be able to make the kinds of paintings that you want to make. And once you have all of the skills necessary to make pieces you would be genuinely proud of and do that on a consistent basis, you need to turn that into a body of work. Making sure that body of work is something that you are proud of makes it easier to promote and market. It makes it more likely that people are going to come up to you and want to hear more about the story of who you are and why you made this piece, which is more likely going to result in a sale. And being able to do this consistently, well, this accomplishes a couple of things. First, it builds up your confidence. You know that you can successfully create that commission. It builds collector confidence. They'll know that they will like things that you make over and over and over. They'll want to know about new works coming out because they can trust that they will like all of the paintings that you make in the future. And this is essential for getting into a gallery because galleries need to know that they can count on your work. They don't want you to be doing something completely wild, off the wall, and new every single time you bring in new work. Instead, they want to be able to take a look at what you're doing now, assess what whether it fits for their collector base and then have you deliver that kind of work over and over so that they know that what you're providing is a fit for their clients. And having 10 to 20 pieces is essential for all of these things. It really helps to instill your own sense that this wasn't a fluke or an accident and you can do it over and over. It gives you a very clear sense of what your recipe for success is to be able to go from idea to finished product and whether you are 
working with collectors or you're working with galleries, having that consistent body of work is essential for them to want to stay up to date with what you are doing and work with you on an ongoing basis. But even if your goal isn't potentially selling work or working with a gallery, Getting to this stage is what separates people from feeling really proud of what they do and feeling like they've reached their potential from that feeling of frustration that's really easy for us all to get stuck in. If you would like to go down this process together, I would love to help. To learn more about how each of these steps work in depth, make sure to register for the masterclass linked in the description. There's gonna be a full Q&A at the end, so you won't want to miss this chance to chat live with me and get your questions answered. And if you already know that you want my help, I would encourage you to go ahead and apply now to see if we are a fit to work together. I look forward to talking to all of you soon, and until then, happy painting.